Hi, this is Don. This is a short video to show you how to use the frequency function in Excel to help you produce both the uh, cumulative distribution curve and a frequency histogram. This is the cell phone survey data that you get from the Evans site. And I'm just going to do one category. We're going to do the customer service rating. And from inspection, looking down this, I can tell that the ratings go from one to five, so I don't have to do a lot of research. If you have a long column of numbers, of values, and you don't really know what the distribution is, what I'd usually do is find the minimum using the min min function. And I give it that a column again, control shift down arrow to select it, hit enter, and it tells me my min value is one. And again, using the max function, click on that to select it. Go up here and first cell, control shift down arrow to select that first column. And I can see my max and min values are one and five. And if I were Again, if this was, say, from 0 to 100 or from 0 to 160, I would set up my bins using some uh, breakdown, uh, say 0 to 10, 0 to 15, whatever you want to think is reasonable for your distribution of data, and those would be your bins. But again, in this case, we're just using the simple bins of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, since we have the integers 1 through 5. To use the frequency function, we select the cells beside the bins. I'm going to select that first cell and then drag it down to include one cell more than the number of cells we need for the bins. And we need that because the frequency function will put any numbers that it finds above the highest bin into that last cell. Of course, we don't need that in this case, but you might if you had a, a larger string of, of values. And then I'll start typing equal frequency and Excel will suggest a frequency function. I'll double click on that to select it. And I've got to give it the data array. Click on the first cell again and we use control shift down arrow to select that column. I've got to give it a comma. And now I've got to give it the bins array. In this case, I can just drag down and close that with a parentheses. And because we've got an array function, we've got to hit Control Shift Enter. And that gives us our frequency distribution. We can see we've got three ones, 23 threes. To get the cumulative distribution, it's pretty straightforward. We just hit Equal three for the first cell. The second cell is equal to that cell plus the second cell in the frequency. Now I can just select that formula and get the plus and drag it down to get my distribution. 